Welcome to Marty's Fly Bench. Today I'm tying a stuck in the shuck midge. This is my favorite single midge. It is an emerger. It uh, kind of represents that one stage in a midge emergence when the adult just squirts out of the shuck and at that particular moment they're still vulnerable, they're floating in the surface film and they're twice as long given the body size and the shuck so the fish can see them they know that they're uh, helpless so it's a good stage of the emergence to fish now this is a size 20 Dairiki 310 my thread is an A dot olive I'll use black or gray and I've just installed a trailing shuck of orange antron now I want to keep this slender if I can so I'm using a dot thread and on on 22's I'll use a even a 10 or a 12 watt <clears throat> for the wing I've got some McFlylon. You can also use carded Antron, Widow's Web, Trigger Point. I'm trying to leave some room at the front because I will have <clears throat> the need for that room to tie in a few things. Now, I'm trying to get these thread wraps right next to each other. I know that there's a few gaps in there, but got a little trick that I'm going to use to imitate some segmentation. Just a short one inch stripe of Sharpie. And there I got kind of a fake quill. Now before I pull that wing over, I've got a nice small grizzly saddle hackle. I'm setting this back a little ways from the eye. You don't want these thread wraps to be too tight. Sometimes these fine stems are brittle. And all I need is a turn and a half all in one spot. And I'm going to sweep that back. It's not very bushy, just a semblance of legs. Now, I'm going to need to loosen this thread as I go over the, the tail, excuse me, the wing. So I'm going to get a few security wraps here so that that looseness doesn't cost me my tie down on the hackle. Now pull that antron over tight and then push it back a little bit, hold it in place. and drop your thread over the top now that's a bigger hump than I want so I'm just gonna tug on that until the shroud gets down I like having a little bit of space between the body and the wing uh, your dry fly floating can get in there trap a few air bubbles makes this actually a pretty pretty good floating fly now just to finish it with the whip And I'm going to use two because I'm not going to mess with head cement here. Come in from the side so you can trim it close. Now if you pull tight on this shuck when you cut it, it's going to spring out all over the place. So I usually keep it relaxed. And just make a nice clean cut. And it looks neater in your fly box. Eventually when the fish get after it, it'll start getting messy. But you can reach under here and kind of push the hackle out to the side or you can get in there with your scissors and cut it. It seems to fish the same whether you trim it or not. Just a few legs. If you look at it from underneath, that shroud, the body's kind of highlighted underneath that shroud of wing. There you go. Stuck in the shuck. <laughs> 